In this video I'm going to talk about the role of negative dreams, bad dreams, nightmares, and how it relates and how it interplays and interfaces with the whole process of cleansing. Now, it might not make any sense at first glance when you say, okay, well if you're cleansing your physical body, why would you have negative dreams? Why would you have bad dreams? Well, first of all, there's no such thing as just a physical body. In reality, we're a whole system of many different things that are all interplaying and basically it's just all the same process it's all just the same flow of energy and we only say physical or emotional or mental or spiritual so that we can have a conversation so we can talk about things and really understand what each other is saying it's kind of like for me to point over there and say okay now it's over there for me to point here and say now that's here in reality it's still the same room it's still on the same planet, it's still in the same physical reality. It's ultimately the same thing, but just so you can know what I'm talking about and we can have a conversation and dialogue and communicate, we need to use these symbols. So we need to understand that symbols are just a way of talking about things and just a way of s describing things. They're not actually the thing. Like for example, if I say the word water, no matter how thirsty you are, the word water will never quench your thirst. So the word water and the actual existential, tangible, real thing that is water are two different things, but we use the word water to talk about water so that we can all have a conversation and a collective understanding. It's kind of like you have a computer and you might run Mac, you might run Linux, you might run Windows 7, you might run Windows XP. Likewise, language and symbols is what we run in our brain. That's our operating system in our brain. Some people might have a Chinese operating system which is you know, very different from you know, our English, American, whatever you want to call it, operating system. So that's the first thing to understand. And I just wanted to clarify that in case you're like, oh, well, why would you have any kind of a weird emotional or spiritual or dreamlike thing happening when you're cleansing the physical body? <clears throat> and I can say for me in my own experience, this was something that I never read about in books. This was something no one ever told me about. It was something no one ever talked to me about. It was something that unfolded for me on my path on my own. And it was basically brought on by me taking reishi mushroom. And when I first started taking, actually one of the first nights that I started taking reishi in high amounts, I had an out-of-body experience. Spontaneously, I didn't even know what it was. I was kind of scared, kind of freaked out. But then I read about it and understood it and then eventually learned how to do it. And that was all just brought on. And over the course of years, I would just have continually, you know, dreams where it was very scary or I was working out some unconscious fear or it was what you would call, I guess, some sort of nightmare. But it was deeper than that because it was an educational experience. It was a learning experience with a lesson encoded in it. It wasn't just a bunch of random stuff that was scary and that I was afraid of. It was a deep conversation between myself, my conscious ego or a conscious symbol of myself and the unconscious deeper aspects of myself that we're communicating with each other. So ultimately when we're doing a physical cleanse or whatever you want to call it and we have these negative dreams or these nightmares basically we should be grateful for them because ultimately we're working out a deep unconscious or subconscious issue that is much easier to sort out in the dream world because let's say we have a huge fear of you know, heights or a huge fear of, you know, being in a car wreck or something. And that's just a, you know, a mundane example, but to work that out, that psychological process in the physical world, there would be a lot of consequences and there would be a lot of negative side effects. But you can work it out in a dream, you can go through the experience in the dream and it feels real and it feels like it really happened, but you can, of course, wake up and you're okay and you're fine and you can then analyze the experience and understand the experience and understand what it meant to you. Another way this can manifest is let's say you have a lot of pent up anger or hostility or fear towards a certain person. Now if you're going to work that issue out in this physical reality, you're going to have to deal with that person's emotions and everything that comes along with them. You're going to have to deal with all of the interaction and all of the side effects and consequences that would come, uh, come about and arise from that interaction. But you can work it out in your dream and you can sort it out in your own psyche and it's independent of the other person but you can find some sort of peace or some sort of resolution or some sort of solution or better way of looking at the situation to where you can just kind of release the blockage and move on and move past that um, 
that aspect of your psyche. Now, for me, that's how it manifested people that I had a lot of pent up anger with, people had a lot of pent up frustration or any kind of negative emotion that was just built up and buried deep down inside my liver that I consciously didn't really know but was controlling me. Came out in the dream, I sorted it out in the dream, let it go, moved past it, and just was able to evolve a lot faster without having to, you know, necessarily involve all the time and energy to sort it out in this physical reality. So that's ultimately the moral of the story here is that these negative dreams, or these nightmares or whatever are really just in my hypothetical theoretical analysis, a way that your psyche, a way that your being, a way that your consciousness can sort out deep seated issues in a much easier, quicker and more efficient way. And again, there's really no separation between physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, whatever you want to call it. These are just symbols, these are words, ways of talking about things. So that's the role of negative dreams or nightmares or whatever you want to call it and how it interplays and interfaces with the process of physical cleansing. So if you have any questions or comments or you want to share your story, post it below and I'll talk to you soon.